sleep, they were already dead. And physically, they were dying every day. So they needed something from the Lord to change the direction that they were going into. If you're dead, you need God to do something. I don't know about you, but I'm holding on to the hope of life. I don't know about you, but I'm holding on to what Jesus said. I'm holding on to what God said. Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. I'm holding on to life, y'all. I'm holding on to life because I just don't want to die and go to the lake of fire. But after I'm dead, I want to go to heaven and rest in peace with the joy of the Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm holding on to the life that God said and Paul shared with them right now. Do we sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus? So you might think you're going through some difficult times and some hard days, but God said, right now, do you sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus? No matter how bad your job is, you're sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. No matter how bad it's going through in your house, you're sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I'm convinced that nobody likes dead things. Can I just get an amen? Nobody likes dead things. Nobody likes a dead relationship. I want him to tell me that he loves me. Nobody likes a dead relationship. Nobody likes a, a dead marriage. Nobody likes a dead end job. Nobody likes being dead broke. And nobody likes being dead in the water. If there's death, you want to move as far away from that as you possibly can. The Bible says these are some synonyms to death. If something is cold because you don't want to be around dead things. A death means it's cold, it's stiff, it's barren, it's passed away, it's departed, it's impotent, it's dry and unfruitful. I don't know anybody that wants to be in something that's unfruitful. Everything you want to be in, you want to be in something that is growing, something that you can say thank you for, and something that is raising. We should rejoice and give God praise because God promised us life. We should give God the praise because that's the days of that we lived in and the Lord made a way for us today that we can live and give God glory and give God praise. Can I get somebody to say hallelujah? The word says that we should live and not die. There's some things that you've done to yourself that you should be dead now. You should have died because of that divorce. You should have died because you lost that job. But God said, I'm bigger than that. And I'm going to cover everything that you went through. And I'm still going to bless you. It's amazing how God can still put the pieces of our life back together again. Some of us are looking at our lives and saying, I can't believe how far God has brought me. Some of us are looking at our situations and saying, I can't believe what I've been through. And I still got the mind to keep on moving forward. You should have been stuck right there. In the hospital, you should have gave up. But you said to yourself, I'm not going to give up because I believe that God is a healer. And God raised you up from that hospital bed. And now you're living and you can give God the praise. God raised you up from losing that job. And you said, Lord, how am I going to make it? How am I going to put food on the table? But God made a way for you anyhow. And now you're still here. And the goodness of God still reigns all over your life. And so you say, God, what can I do right now? Somebody give God the praise. So, somebody give God the praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I don't know what you heard, but everybody that's alive should have some signs. Everybody that's alive, there should be some signs of life in you. The Bible says that after the day of Pentecost came, they were all in one place on one accord. And then the word says that these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents and they shall drink any deadly thing and it shall not hurt them. That's power in Jesus Christ. So that tells me that no matter what you go through, 